Hi, I'm right back. It's it's been like two minutes. I'm gonna try again. We're gonna employ some order of operations, and I don't think I need to use that code now that I've already registered, so I don't have to expose the the secret. But let's try this. So again, for those of you who might not have seen my previous streams, I'm Finn. I paint and tilt brush. Today I'm going to show you a demo of a new program that some of my friends are uh, re releasing soon. It's called Microdose VR. I'm really excited to see what it looks like. It's been in the works for many years now. And uh, let's see. Let me just log in and see how this goes. Let's see, got my headset, got my handles. I might want room for this, who knows? I usually do stuff sitting, but this is gonna get epic. <gasps> Can you see my friends? All right, I'm in microdose VR. Can I scale or move around? No. Wish I had instructions, I don't know what I'm doing, but let's just go for it. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, can I try the other hand? What's that going to do? Oh, and that sort of stays. So I've got two different artistic elements in either hand. I wonder. Yeah, I've got a bunch of beautiful spinning red leaves. I'll stand up and move a little bit with that. Oh boy, guys, what do I even do? Is it like double hand it so you can see? Oh, that's nice. Oh, I love the lighting. It's really beautiful. It's got a lot of nice luminosity and like shine. I like these deep field things happening. What the hell is that? That's beautiful. Looks like seaweed. Yeah. These growing cubes. I love the deep atmosphere background, but it still has this nice spacious feeling as an artist. I like that the pointers are out, but it would be cool if I could like adjust them. Can I do that? Is that how this works? I'm done. I, I don't even know what all this is. Are you guys gonna write us an instruction manual or are we just supposed to like take acid and hop in? Oh wow, it has a really nice long throw. I don't know if that has to do with Oh, it is. Look at this guy. I'm fishing. That is what is happening here. Oh, I'm slow to catch on. So as I move my hand and the controller back and forth, I'm noticing that this cute little pink orbital guy is the path of what I'm drawing. So the more I yank it, the more it goes out. You can see this is dip. Oh my god, it's kind of like a little yo-yo point. So I'm going to do a weird thing. I'm going to do a point move. I'm going to try to do it small and in front of us. This is what you call like split time. I don't know. Not quite a butterfly. Whatever. Wall plane in front of us. Ooh, I'm going to stick my virtual hands in there. Woo! So, I'm going to try to explore some other things about this. I'm guessing that the middle finger button that I'm engaging, and you can see that it buzzes my uh, controller when I do it, I think that switches the texture to a different motif. I'm not sure what... Oh, shit! So the trackpad is what helps you push stuff away or move in the space. I really like this thing where I feel like a fucking cowboy. And 
I can just like launch the pink orb across space. And I can get the momentum on its wing before I click. And it'll send it further away. I wonder what the response time is on it. Do it again. Well, it caught it up there. It's a little slow on the tracking. It goes slower. I am so down, y'all. This is very cool. And it does have this neat additional drift happening on it as they move away. So they have a good particle dynamics. You know, I really wish I could just have some classical music jamming. I think that's what I'm going to do next time. I've had box, toccata, and fugue in D minor stuck in my head, which is a fan of the opera. It's like 2 minutes 40 seconds to like 3 minutes something. It's super epic, but that's definitely what's in my head. Let's try other textures. I'm just like really into the particle dynamics more than I am whatever the object is. That's cool, stationary for a little bit. Okay. I know I've had my back to you guys for a minute. My bad, but still. I don't want to be swinging my arms at my computer. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. Oh, it gets bigger at me. Mm. <laughs> That's some cool honeycomb dudes. What's on this one? I'm just going to sort of give us a tour of these different textures. Very iconic of the aesthetic of Microdose VR and all the promo video stuff I've seen. It's getting bigger. <laughs> oh, okay. Safe now. Wow. It's an experience, you guys. <laughs> cute if you just gently hold it it's got like the, you can see the pink orb bobbing around it just makes a really nice gentle 
visual food yeah. This would be a phenomenal thing to adapt to exercise if you just want to like trip out and see beautiful stuff and dance your little heart out. Yeah. This is so friggin' poi like. Look at this, you guys. I'm like fishing in space and pulling up meat leaves and big old monsters. <laughs> I think we might have made our back to some leaf motif, but it's this time it's a window into something else. Let's do it again. And I'm gonna try to peek inside if you like the going. Oh, it's one of, it's another whole piece in there. Let's make it really dense so we can see. This is fucking trippy. This is a phenomenal use of like a virtual space within a virtual space. All these leaves being little portal wormholes to this composition, which is stereoscopically projected. Look at that. That's pretty amazing. Cool. Legit. I'm gonna let that fade. I'm just gonna move away from it too. Let's move away from it. Yeah. Cool. Oh, and you can like move away from it in space at the same time. So I'm moving backwards on the trackpad and just spiraling this. And I'll let go of the leaves so you can really see me moving away from it. butterflies, but there's also this sort of like blobby, amorphous, liquid stuff happening with them, which I really like. It's almost like morphic resonance field patterns complement the butterflies. That's really good. This is my critique. It's wonderful. Okay, am I about to get creeped out by this creepy face? Probably. But I don't know if I'm pointing it the right way because I can't see. So, I want his face to point at me. I don't understand why he's looking away. That's alright, but I'm just like, dude. I do really like how they're like flipping into each other. That's neat. So we got some little cubes and then out of that come these odd little U-shaped torso thingies. And if you're a real weirdo, you can point it right at your face and point the yellow orb at your head orb and then you'll be inside the paintbrushes as they're exploding if you need to get up really in it like me. Don't. What are these thingies? We got these like glyph like thingies. Little 
temple apartment condos of the future. I can go inside. Cool. Some cute platelets. Look at these little blood cells. We could have our own inner space movie recreation. Look on that bloodstream. Ooh, those are very, very nice. They're like little fish, but leaves. Excellent lighting, and they're almost kind of creepy the way they move around. Yeah, I like it. They seem like they've got intelligence. It's kind of creeping me out. Let's go full bore. Oh, that's sick. I love the glimmer on the veins of them, and I love the shift from that light blue to a more naturalistic color. It's very eerie. They look like little alien creatures in a swarm. Though, as I've been uh, playing, I suppose, all this stuff in the background seems like it gets a little bit more dense or it gets a little bit more uh, developed or something. I don't know if that's just my imagination, but it's pretty cool. Oh, shit. Fuck me. I'm holding a time dilation thing in my hand. I'm so into it. Are you kidding me? I'm so into it. I don't know how to use this. This is like a spiritual moment that just happened. Like I accidentally clicked this shit and this dial pops up and something in my deep intuition knows what this dial should do and I see a tiny hourglass on it. It says time dilation. Maybe I'm just a tripper and I've done my fair share, but you guys, what do I do? <laughs> what? Uh, um, shit. Well, I'm just gonna like swirl it a little and let go and see what happens. Oh, cute. Got this pulsing thing. And some uh, chromosomes. That's gorgeous. Look at the chromosome. Quality content <clears throat> brought to you by Microdose VR. I look the little tail into that guy. Very nice. Very nice. Ooh, we have another portal leaf thing. We've got some lily pads this time. Oh, this is exceptional. I'm gonna make Really, oh, and they go from maple leaves and they transform into lily pads. I'm going to make this really big and go like around me if I can. Come on. Go a little. There we go. Here we go. And I can see more of what's happening. This is a dope way to create an Easter egg for sure. Okay, so what's also happening is that if I am perceiving this right, there's two places being superimposed. There's this place with the bright trees, 
And there's this other place with these orbs that are making sort of Islamic geometry patterns together. And because they're happening at a slightly staggered fade, you're literally seeing these two places at once, respectively, in the different parts of the leaves sequence. I wish I could stick my head in it, but... Ooh, very nice. Yeah, the maple leaves are the bright trees, and then they turn into the uh, big lily pads that have that other composition in them. You have the trees, and then boom, that. I like. I got some explodey crystals. Stereoscopic one, very cool. What is this? Do we have another? What's happening? And it's like turning me away in space. through all the brushes. I don't know if I want to. I kind of want to just sort of leave it here perhaps and if you too find yourself lucky enough to be noodling around in here, you'll get to see brushes that you did not see me uh, demo. But um, this is amazing. I would definitely love to relax <coughs> in here and just have fun creating kinetic experiences with all the visuals. Yeah, so there we have it. That's my first impression of Microdose VR. I um, just want to thank my friends who made me hip to the fact that that dropped within the past day or so, I suppose. And um, yeah, go check out their Instagram, Microdose VR. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And yeah, check out Andrew Jones' work. It's fabulous. And yeah, thank you for watching my little random impromptu feed. You can find me at uh, my 3D work, my tilt brush work is at Polly Google under Sarah Finn. You can find me on Instagram uh, under Machine Age Maya, it's all one word. And you can also find me on YouTube under Sarah Finn. Um, when I spell my first name, there's no H at the end, it kind of confuses people. So it's just S A R A. P-H-I-N-N -N for Finn. And uh, yeah, I'll include other links to my Patreon and stuff like that when I post this up. But thanks for checking it out. I hope you liked Microdose VR. I will catch you next time when I finish up my current VR portrait of Bjork. Bye.